Hi guys, welcome to the class 3 of this Inkscape course. In this class, I will demonstrate you about Boolean operations, patterns along path and text effects. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then simply go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options are turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties and here you can see the dimensions of the page. In graphic designing, we deal mostly with the pixels. So simply select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to some standard like 1280 and height to say 720 pixels like this. And simply left click on this cross icon like this. The presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu and the second one is align and distribute menu. Simply left click on this icon for fill and stroke menu and on this icon for align and distribute menu. And here you can see that both of the menus are appearing on the right side of the screen. Then simply click on this zoom to fit page windows like this. Now go to path and here you can see all the boolean operations. Now to demonstrate these boolean operations, first of all select the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle like this. Then select the ellipse tool and draw a circle while holding down the control key like this. Now change the color of this circle to say this blue color and keep the color of this rectangle to this red color. Now select both of these shapes, drag them here, right click, duplicate them and drag them at this position. Now again select all of these shapes, go to fill and stroke menu and reduce the opacity to say 80% so that we can see the overlapping parts. In these two parts the circle is placed at the top and here we want to place the rectangle at the top. So to do this simply select this rectangle and select on this icon, raise selection to top like this. Now select all of these shapes, right click and select cut. I perform this operation so that we don't have to draw the shapes again and again. We will simply go to edit and select paste in place like this. Now simply select both of these shapes and go to path. The first boolean operation is union. Simply select on this union and you can see that two shapes are converted into a single one. Again select both of these shapes, go to path and select union. And you can see that the operation is same. Doesn't matter which body is placed at the top and which body is placed at the bottom. The difference is that the color that is applied to the final body is the color of the body that is placed at the bottom. In this case the red body was placed at the bottom and in this case the blue body was placed at the bottom. Now simply select these shapes and press delete on the keyboard. Again go to edit and select paste in place. Now select both of these shapes, go to path and the next boolean operation is difference or you can simply say minus front and you can see that the front body is subtracted to the bottom one. And in this case the rectangle is placed at the front. So select both of these shapes, go to path and select difference. And you can say that the rectangle is subtracted from the circle. Now this was the difference operation. Simply select both of these shapes and press delete on the keyboard. Again go to edit and select paste in place. Now you can see that the common body in both of these shapes is known as overlapping body or you can say intersecting body. Simply select both of these, go to path and select intersection and you can say that we only have the overlapping body. Again select both of these, go to path and select intersection and again both of the shapes are same. Doesn't matter which body is placed at the top and which body is placed at the bottom. Simply select both of these and press it on the keyboard. Again go to edit and select paste in place. Again select both of these shapes, go to path and the next operation is exclusion. Simply left click on it and you can see that the intersecting part or overlapping part is removed from the shape and the body is appearing as a single body. Again select both of these parts, go to path and select exclusion and again you can see that the overlapping body is removed. Doesn't matter which body is placed at the top and which body is placed at the bottom, the final shape remains the same. Simply select both of these shapes and press delete on the keyboard. Again go to edit and select paste in place. Again select both of these shapes, go to path and the next operation is division. This is a very important operation in Inkscape. When you press on division, you can see that the top body has divided the bottom body into two parts. Like this. If you want to differentiate between the parts, then simply select both of these parts, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and simply left click on this black color. And now you can easily differentiate between the parts. Like this. In this case the rectangle is placed at the top. So select both of these shapes, go to path and select division. And if you want to differentiate between the parts then again hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this black color like this. And now you can see that the rectangle has divided the circle into two parts like this. Now this is the division operation. Simply select all of these shapes and press delete on the keyboard. Again go to edit and select paste in place. Now select these shapes, go to path and the next boolean operation is cut path. I will demonstrate cut path by simply selecting all of these shapes and cancel their fail by clicking on this cross icon and assign them some stroke color by simply holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left clicking on this black color like this. Now select this circle, again hold down the shift key and left click on this blue color 
select this circle again hold down the shift key and left click on this blue color in this case the circle is placed at the top and in this case the rectangle is placed at the top now select both of these shapes go to path and select cut path and you can see that the body is divided into parts at the intersection point in this case the rectangle is placed at the top again select both of these shapes go to path and select cut path and again you can see that the bottom body is divided into two parts at the point where the top body is intersecting now select all of these shapes press delete on the keyboard again go to edit and select paste in place now simply select this shape go to path and select combine again select both of these shapes go to path and select combine and you can see that the combine and union are similar but there is a small difference and i will elaborate the difference with the help of an example simply select both of these shapes and press delete on the keyboard again go to edit and select paste in place now the difference between combine and union is that combine is a temporary joint and union is a permanent joint now we can see this with an example select both of these shapes go to path and select combine again go to path and select break apart and you can see that the body is again divided into original parts like this now select both of these parts go to path and select union now again the body is converted into a single part again go to path and select break apart now this time the body is not divided into their original parts so this is the difference that combine is a temporary joint and union is a permanent joint now simply select all of these shapes and press delete on the keyboard now these are the boolean operations of inkscape if you have any questions about them then you can ask in the comments section now let's continue with the next part of this tutorial in which i will demonstrate you about patterns along path now select the ellipse tool hold down the control key on your keyboard and drag the left mouse button like this now right click duplicate it and drag it in a position like this now select both of these shapes go to path and select intersection now cancel the stroke by holding down the shift key and left clicking on this cross icon and assign it some fill color by left clicking on this green color like this now hold down one of these handles to change its dimensional parameters and try to make the shape something like leaf like this now go to object and select transform in transform menu go to rotate and set the angle to 30 degrees and select apply now right click duplicate it and flip it horizontally by clicking on this icon and place it somewhere like here now select both of these parts go to path and select union now decrease the dimensions by holding down the control key and then holding down the left mouse button on one of these handles like this now select the pen tool and select create b spline path and from the shape select none left click once again left click again left click and again left click and press enter on the keyboard now you have to make sure that this part must be placed at the top of this part to confirm this simply select this part and select this icon raise selection to the top now select both of these parts go to extensions go to generate from path and select pattern along path from the copies of the pattern select repeated deformation type to snake select all the values to zeros and check both of these options and simply select apply and you can see that a pattern is drawn you can draw any of the pattern of your choice now simply select both of these shapes and press delete on the keyboard then select the ellipse tool and hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse in a direction like this now cancel the fill by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left clicking on this green color like this now go to path and select object to path now again select these leaves and make sure that they must be placed at the top of this circle to confirm this simply click on this raise selection to top icon like this now again reduce the dimensions by holding down the control key then holding down the left mouse button on one of these handles and dragging the mouse in inward direction like this now select both of these shapes go to extensions select generate from path and select pattern along path and select apply and you can see that a beautiful pattern is drawn you can draw any of the patterns and use them in your projects now simply select both of these shapes and press delete on the keyboard now let's continue with the next part of this class in which i will demonstrate you about text effects now simply select the text tool and write the text to say text on path now select all of these alphabets and here increase the spacing between them to say 20 pixels like this now select the pen tool again select create b spline path and from the shape select to none left click once again left click again left click and again left click and press enter on the keyboard now you can increase the size of this text by simply holding down the control key on your keyboard and holding down the left mouse button on one of these handles and dragging the mouse in outward direction like this now again select both of these parts right click and select cut go to edit and select paste in place then go to text and select put on path and you can see that the text is placed on the path now if you want to remove this path then simply select this one and press delete on the keyboard and you can see that the text has restored its original position 
but if you don't want the text to restore its original position then simply select this one and press delete on the keyboard again go to edit and select paste in place go to text and select put on path now simply go to path and select object to path now select this path and select delete and you can see that the text has maintained this position now simply select this one and press delete on the keyboard again go to edit and select paste in place this time left click on this path and select delete on the keyboard now select this text hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button on one of these handles and drag the mouse in inward direction like this now select the circle tool and hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse in a direction like this now select both of these parts right click duplicate them and drag them here now select these parts go to text and select put on path and you can see that the text is placed on the circle if you want to freely rotate the text on the circle then simply left click on the text and again left click on this one and you can see that rotation center of the text is appearing to rotate the text freely on the circle you have to place this rotation center at the rotation center of the circle for this simply enable the snapping then enable the snap to other points and enable items rotation center then hold down the left mouse button on this rotation center and drag it at the center like this now you can see that the text can be freely rotated on the circle like this one now select both of these parts go to text and select put on path and then click on this flip selected objects vertically and you can see that the text is placed inside the circle again if you want to freely rotate the text inside the circle then simply left click on text again left click and here you can see the rotation center hold down the left mouse button on this rotation center and drag it in a center like this and again you can see that the text can be freely rotated inside the circle like this now this is the class 3 of this inkscape course we are almost done with the basics of inkscape if you have any question then you can ask in the comments section we will meet in the next class in the class 4 we will do some practical designing by using the knowledge that we have gained in the previous three classes so like and subscribe the channel and stay up to date with the upcoming videos thanks for watching and have a nice day